Lesson number four, ethics and safety measures in computing, part two. This session includes explanation and then exercise at the end of the explanation. Today, we'll be talking about the disadvantages of internet. Internet has several advantages for every individual and is extremely popular in this modern age. However, it's a tool which must be handled with caution as its misuse can be really dangerous. The first disadvantage of internet and one of the major ones is virus threat. Computers that are connected to the internet are more prone to virus attacks which can result in the crashing of system, data loss and even hardware malfunctioning which means your system may not function the way you expect it to. Spamming It refers to receiving of unwanted emails that are of commercial nature which means you feel as if they've come from a business organization for some business reason but they're sent indiscriminately means randomly to multiple mailing lists individuals or news groups once they are in your system they would use the system's resources such as memory and can also be used to spread computer virus or other malicious software which means software which intends to harm your computer system Theft of personal information Internet is a main source of piracy which means stealing, plagiarism which means copying and other evil issues relating to privacy of information of an individual or even an organization. Therefore, one should be careful enough while handling one's personal information such as name, address, credit card numbers, etc. As they can be accessed by hackers or crackers for personal monetary gains. Such elements can also disturb system applications by spreading virus and changing program logics and outputs. Cyber Terrorism it causes a serious threat to the world nowadays. Modern terrorist organizations perform target attacks on power plants, banks, commercial areas or buildings of national importance. This can be conducted remotely with the help of mobile phones and the internet which are less expensive than traditional terrorist methods. Time wastage. Although internet provides various services to its users, yet people generally waste time and energy in serving the net. This can result in the loss of personal interaction with people since you may be always in the virtual world and it can also affect both of our socializing skills and health. Know the fact, cyber trafficking refers to the serious crime of selling drugs, weapons and even human beings over the internet. Traffickers contact their customers through encrypted emails, fix their deals at places like internet cafes in order to sell their illegal substances. Some criminals even built websites for online selling and trade of these harmful commodities. Computing Ethics So ethics is a set of moral principles that govern the behavior of a group 
or an individual. And similarly, computing ethics is a set of procedures, moral principles, and ethical practices that regulate the use of computer. It focuses on ethical implementation and the use of computing resources and includes new issues that are raised by new technologies. It basically aims at encouraging IT users to be responsible in order to utilize the technology tools judiciously, respect views of others, and acknowledge the rights and properties of people on the internet. So here are some computing ethics that you are expected to follow. Do not use computer technology to cause disruption or interference in other users' work. Do not spy on another person's computer data. Do not use computer technology to steal information. Do not contribute to the spread of wrong information using computer technology. Avoid buying pirated software. Pay for software unless it's free. Before developing a software, think about the social impact it can have. And finally, be respectful and courteous with the fellow members while communicating on the internet.